Now, normally I do good, bad and ugly, but there's just one bit of ugly that I want to focus on this evening, which is the petty politics of borders. In Queensland, there is a system right now where if you are from Greater Sydney, you can't go. If you're from Victoria, you can't go. The system is pretty damn effective at the moment, where people are being turned around at the border, and yes, there are those that have somehow BS their way into the state, but those people are getting caught. Those people are getting fined. Thankfully, as a result of those people who are jumping over the border or getting through illegally, lying their way back into Queensland as Queenslanders, there hasn't been an explosion of the virus. But today, Deb Frecklington suggests that there should be harder, more mandatory penalties for those that are breaking the border rules. Seems pretty obvious, right? She says, the Palaszczuk Labor government honour system at the border is clearly not working. We need to keep Queenslanders safe to protect lives and livelihoods. The LNP is calling for mandatory maximum penalties for those who break the rules. Fairly simple, right? Well, what did the Deputy Premier and Health Minister say about this today? Well, of course, it was time to play politics with the borders. This clown, Stephen Miles, says, if it was up to the opposition leader, the border would have been open to everyone from July the 1st. That's 35 days of unrestricted access to Queensland from people who've been in hotspots in Victoria and New South Wales. That is a gold-plated lie. In that time, there have been more than 10,000 cases in Victoria, more than 600 cases in New South Wales. No. The decision to loosen the border rules were when Victoria was under control, when New South Wales was even under greater control. No one has a problem with the smarter way of doing the border rather than the hard one that said people can't uh, move from places like the Tweed across to Coolangatta, you know, the other side of the road. But the idea that somehow the government was initially dragged kicking and streaming to loosen the border rules that they should have always kept in place is frankly bullshit. Because, you know, the reason they did it was because the virus was, as I say, largely under control, but they also did it because... There were thousands of businesses that were going to the wall because when you don't have international tourism, you needed domestic tourism. And while Anastasia Palaszczuk, just like Mark McGowan, just like Stephen Marshall, just like Peter Goodwin, all think that borders will save us, people know when they're being played. And the Queensland Government, yet again, is playing its people like a fool. They think that if they make it all about borders and a referendum on borders, they will sail through to another four years where they can screw the state just as badly as they have for the past two terms. Well, latest polls suggest, even with their border hysterics, even with the press conferences in front of the cyclone fence with the barbed wire, it still looks like the people of Queensland will well and truly be awake to their games and turf them in about 90 days from now.